。挽救美国快乐之上，欢迎收看《完美主义》，我是希文。你是一位漫画迷吗？一直追随自己喜欢的漫画作品吗？所以今天完美主义跟我一起去拜访洛杉矶非常出名的一位漫画作家 Mark a n d r i c o 他可是 DC 旗下非常出名的漫画作品《火星猎人》的作家呢。Three years old, I would watch Sesame Street and learn to read from Spider-Man comics. And then as I got older, you know, your tastes expand, and you know, the X-Men was a really big thing. That was the first time they were becoming really popular, and then Batman stuff. I was little. I wanted to be a comic book artist, and then as I took art classes, I realized I didn't have the patience. I, I just I was. The job. I, it just that, that's a that, that's a craft, and you have to be really passionate about it. And I would just get frustrated. So I just started writing, and then I realized,、um, you know, I had all these ideas, and I just realized that I would micromanage so much. It was just easier for me to write them myself than ruin friendships. <laughs> you know, it was just easier, and I just kind of fell into it, and people. I kind of hoodwink people, and they think I know what I'm doing. So、uh, I've been doing it for this is actually my 20th year in comics. Yeah. And you're still enjoying it, doing it. Oh yeah, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. I get to you know I get to work with people who I idolized growing up. I get to you know tell I get paid to tell stories about you know it's it's mythology. It's modern day mythology. You know, getting to write Batman or Spider Man. It's like being able to you know back in the day write stories about Hercules or or the gods. It's 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 really it's so ingrained in our culture. Now people, when you say I write comic books, people are like, really? That's exciting. Whereas before you'd be like, I'm a writer.、You're、like, what do you write? Comic books. <laughs> you know, and now it's now people think it's a really exciting thing. I try to only write stories that I would pay for. The longer you work, it's you know you're creating something. It's like a little. It's like having a kid in a lot of ways. So if you're going to spend a lot of time doing something, it should be something that you're passionate about or that you're interested about. And for me, what's interesting about superheroes isn't the fights. I call that second unit stuff. The fight scenes are great, but you have to care about who's in that costume. The reason Spider-Man resonates with so many people isn't because he's fighting Doctor Octopus, but it's because he's late for school. He's got, he's got the flu. His aunt, they can't pay their rent, and he had to stand up his date. That makes it interesting, the human behind it. Otherwise, it's just like watching someone play a video game. Characters' voices come to me in different layers. You know, sometimes I, I was approached by DC a few years ago.、Uh, they have a character called Manhunter, and they approached me and said, "We want to do a new version of Manhunter, a female version."、And、I thought, "Oh no!" And then a couple days later, I called back and said, "Hey, I've got an idea." And you kind of reverse engineer, and sometimes, sometimes it's. It takes a long time, and sometimes they just pop out of your head, fully formed. It just, it just. I wish I could bottle it. I co-wrote a book with、uh, my friend Brian Michael Bendis, who's probably the biggest comic writer in the United States right now. He writes everything for Marvel and is a consultant on the Marvel films. We did. We both grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and、uh, I pitched him an idea about Elliot Ness because Elliot Ness from the Untouchables fame. After he left Chicago, went to Cleveland in the 30s, and there was a serial killer called the Torso Killer. And when I pitched it to Brian, we were both amazed that that story had never been told because it's, it sounds like a movie, Elliot Ness versus a serial killer. And that was one of the first big creator-owned things that I did with Brian, and that's been in print for 15 years now, and it's almost been a movie a couple of times. I'm really proud of that because it's not a traditional superhero thing; it's a it's a noir thing, but also has a lot of really great character stuff. I'm writing Batwoman right now.、Um, I'm also writing a book called Nightbreed for Boom Studios, which is based on、uh, Clive Barker's novel and movie, which has been really great because I've gotten to work with Clive Barker. It's not often you get to work with the original creators of the material, and it's been I, I was have been reading his books since I was a teenager. Do you have any habit or any secret like when you write, there's something have to be there? Fear. Fear. Fear of getting it done and not messing it up. That's that's the great motivator. Well,